Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply fractions by fractions, whole numbers, and mixed numbers. So a few different situations here, and we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one here, where we have 3 fourths times 1 sixth. So a fraction times a fraction. Now when we multiply fractions, we need to do numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So we multiply straight across. Multiplying fractions is actually simpler than adding or subtracting fractions because we do not need a common denominator. So all we need to do here is straight across. 3 times 1 and 4 times 6. So numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 6 is 24. So that is our answer, but always look to see if you can simplify. And in this case, we can. 3 and 24, they have a common factor of 3. So let's divide each of these, each of these by 3 here. And we get 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 24 divided by 3 is 8. So our final simplified answer is 1 8. On to number two, where we have a fraction times a fraction again. So straight across, two times five is 10, and seven times 11 is 77. The only common factor between 10 and 77 is one, so this is in simplest form. We are done here. Number three, we have a fraction times a whole number. So what we need to do here, let's rewrite our problem. We have 2 thirds times 9. So we need to convert 9 to a fraction here so we have a top and a bottom, a numerator and a denominator. And it's really simple with whole numbers. All you need to do is put it over 1. So whenever you have a whole number, put it over 1, and it's still equivalent to 9. So that's a fraction equivalent to 9. We didn't change the problem at all. We just converted 9 to a fraction, so it has a numerator and a denominator. Now, multiply straight across. 2 times 9 is 18, and 3 times 1 is 3. So we end up with an improper fraction, which we don't want to leave our answer as improper. So we need to get it to a mixed number, or maybe it works out to be just a whole number. So we do that by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So 18 divided by 3. How many whole groups of 3 can we pull out of 18? Well, 6. There is no remainder, so our answer is 6 there. If you need a little more help with converting improper fractions to mixed numbers or whole numbers, I dropped my video about that down in the description. And lastly, number four here, where we have a mixed number times a fraction. And the first thing we want to do here is convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. That way we have a numerator and a denominator, and we can multiply straight across. So we do that by multiplying and then adding. So the uh, denominator times the whole number plus the numerator. Four times two is eight plus two gives us 10, and we keep the denominator of four the same, times 3 fifths we keep as is. So we can do uh, 10 times 3 is 30, and 4 times 5 is 20. So again, we converted the mixed number to an improper fraction. That way we can multiply straight across. So we have an improper fraction here. We don't want to leave it as an improper fraction. We want to get it to a mixed number, or maybe it works out to a whole number, like number 3. So we need to do 30 divided by 20. How many whole groups of 20 out of 30? Well, 1. With a remainder of 10, and we keep the denominator of 20 the same. So 1 and 10 twentieths. Always check to see if the fractional portion of a mixed number can be simplified, and in this case it can. 10 and 20 have a greatest common factor of 10, so let's divide each of these by 10 to simplify it to, we keep the whole number the same, 1, 10 divided by 10 is 1, and 20 divided by 10 is 2. So we get a final simplified answer of 1 and a half. 
And there you have it. There's how you multiply fractions by fractions, whole numbers, and mixed numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.